Um, so today's agenda, what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple introductions. Uh, I've got Nancy Inchley and myself will introduce ourselves. Uh, we're going to do a snapshot of the two programs, uh, going to look at the program details, uh, look at tuition, funding information, and then we're going to take your questions at the end. So Nancy, would you like to go first and introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Nancy Inchley, and I'm the Graduate Affairs Assistant for the Applied Psychology Arc. So that includes the Master's in Counseling Psychology and the School of Child and Applied Child Psychology, and the MPEDs in Teaching Students with Exceptionalities and the Applied Behavior Analysis. MPEDs. I have worked here at Western for over 22 years, and I started in the Faculty of Education at the beginning of the pandemic, so about a year and a half ago. So. Great. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, so I'm Allison Watson. Um, I'm the recruitment coordinator for the Faculty of Education. I've worked at Western since 2013, and I actually haven't left this department. I started in the Faculty of Education as a graduate affairs assistant, uh, and I am now doing the recruitment coordinator position. I've been a student at Western, and I have been a student in the Faculty of Education here. I actually took one of our MPED programs uh, um, in the field of equity, diversity, and social justice. Um, so I've been here for quite a while. <laughs> uh, between both Nancy and I, we do have quite a bit of knowledge. Um, I will admit I'm a definite cat lover. Um, I have a cat. I'm actually trying to make her Instagram famous. It's not working very well, but I'm doing my best for that. So a program snapshot, um, we do have both the, um, the MPED and the Master of Arts. Uh, there's a lot of confusion between the two different programs. Um, the majority of the MPEDs are two years in length. We do have one program which is in one year in length, that's the MPED TESOL program. Uh, so the, both programs generally are two years. Um, the program, both, both the programs do start in September. Those are the only start dates we do have, um, except for our um, MPED in uh, educational leadership with the focal area in Aboriginal studies. Uh, so that program is um, actually starting in late summer. But other than that, everything starts in September here. Um, so the majority of our MPED programs are delivered online, except for two, the MPED TESOL, as well as the Aboriginal MPED are delivered on site. Um, everything else is online. And then our MA is specifically an on-site program. So for research intensive, the MPED is considered a profession professional program. Students do complete a capstone in the MPED as well, um, in most of our MPEDs. And then we have our Master of Arts, which is a research intensive program where students do complete a thesis. So like I said, the MPED is professionally focused, whereas the Master of Arts is research intensive. Uh, students do complete a capstone in the in the MPED and then the Master of Arts, it's a thesis or a master's research project. Uh, finally, we always get asked uh, about employment opportunities. Our MPED students, other than TESOL, are typically uh, employed full time. Uh, so with that, you are going to school and working full time. However, the MPED is designed for those who are working full time. Um, like I said, I did the MPED in equity, diversity, and social justice. I worked and completed my MPED at the same time. Uh, with our Master of Arts, uh, there is not a lot of opportunity to maintain full time employment. We do expect students to progress through the program, and the typical completion is the two years. Uh, so we like to have students focused on their studies to complete within those two years. Okay, so we're going to move on to the program details and we're looking at the MPED right now in everything except MPED TESOL. I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so like I said, the MPED is an online professionally focused degree. Uh, you are not required to come to campus. We don't bar you from coming to campus, but one of the 
questions that we get and it's really unbelievable that it this program is delivered fully online there's no on-site component to this program uh, the only time you can you are required to come to campus is if you want to attend convocation and you are more than welcome to come to convocation um, as I indicated, typically two years completion time. It's a cohort based model. So what that means is the people that you start with, you're going to progress through the program with. So the people typically the most of the people who you start in your first course with, that's who you're going to finish with when you uh, complete the capstone project at the end. Uh, so the reason why we do that is to build connections. Um, being online is a, sometimes a little more difficult to create and foster those connections. So we put you in the same cohort and you move through the program with the same people to build that connection and the trust uh, to uh, facilitate a positive learning environment. So as I indicated, this is designed for those who are working full time. However, the program still does require significant demands on students time. I just want to make that clear. Uh, so with that, students can anticipate about 10 to 15 hours per week of degree work for each term in the program. And keep in mind, this includes the summer term. Students do go through the entire year, fall, winter, and summer. And that's a graduate program um, process where you are going every single term, fall, winter, and summer. Um, so in year one of the MPED programs, except for MPED TESOL, I will get to that in a second. Uh, so students do complete one half course in the fall for 12 weeks, another half course in the winter, which is 12 weeks, and then two half courses in the summer term. So each course is eight weeks and you take them back to back. So you take one in the first half of summer and then one in the second half of summer. So then we come to year two. So for year two, students take one half course in the fall, another half course in the winter, and then either one full course or two half courses in the summer. So the two half courses, again, are going to run um, for uh, eight weeks the first half of summer and then eight weeks in the second half of summer. OK, um, if you're in a full course in the summer, it runs for the 12 weeks. So then we move to the professional program, the M, sorry, the MPED TESOL program. Um, so it is an on-site, professionally focused degree. It's typically completed within one year. Um, and each term, there are multiple class times available for students to choose during the enrollment period. Okay, and more information about that is provided to those who are um, admitted to the program. So the timing and delivery for TESOL. So again, students can anticipate 10 to 15 hours per week per course of to, to work towards their degree, okay, of degree work. And again, it includes the summer term. I always like to say, um, I have to work through the summer, so students have to go through the summer as well. It's, it's just fair. Uh, so for year in year one, uh, the only year that they do, uh, students complete three half courses in the fall, three half courses in the winter, and then two half courses in the summer term. And they complete both of those final two classes at the same time, and they run for eight weeks in the first half of summer. So let's move on to the MA, the research intensive side. So again, like I said, it's an on-site research intensive degree. And typically, uh, the program is completed in two years. And as I indicated before, there is limited opportunity to work outside of the student contracts that are available for students. Um, and I'll discuss more information about that in, uh, in a, an upcoming slide. 
So the MA timing and delivery. Uh, so we're, and this is the typical student. Um, I will note that students in our uh, Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology and our Master of Arts in School and Applied Ch Child Psychology degrees, there's gonna be a slightly different timing and delivery model. So for year one, students complete, the typical student completes three half courses in the fall, three half courses in the winter, and then in the summer term, they work on their thesis proposal. So that's year one in a nutshell. And then for year two, in the fall and winter terms, students complete their thesis, they write their thesis, and then typically they have their thesis defense in the summer term. And I just had to add these little pop quizzes in here. I've got two of them. So pop quiz. Which degree is professionally focused? Is it the Master of Professional Education or the Master of Arts? So if you, if you want to participate, go ahead. Great, thank you. Everybody got it, that's exciting. Okay, um, and then who likes cats more? Is it Allison Watson or Nancy Inchley? Yep, that's exactly right. Good job, everybody, thank you. Okay, so let's move on to the program cost. Okay, uh, so I just wanna let you know that tuition amounts are set each year by Senate, and then they are published to the Office of the Registrar's web pages. Uh, so fees are assessed three times per year, fall, winter, and summer. Um, we got a lot of questions about how much is this program going to cost me? Unfortunately, we can't give an exact amount uh, for the cost of tuition. Tuition does increase by up to 8% each uh, academic year, okay? Uh, but if you take a look at that fee schedules page, you'll get a general idea of how much the program does cost you. Uh, so the MPED program costs, and let me reiterate, this is everything, all MPEDs except for TESOL. And I'll get to that in a second. Uh, so we're looking at for the 2020-2021 academic year, uh, tuition and ancillary fees for Canadian citizen or permanent resident is approximately $2,800 per half course. And students take eight half courses in the program. And then there's the direct link for the uh, for the fees page. And I don't know if you're writing furiously, but don't worry about it. I am going to be sending out these slides uh, to everybody who's registered for this uh, webinar. So now for the MPED TESOL program. Uh, so students take eight half courses, like I said, three half courses in the fall, three half courses in the winter, and then two half courses in the summer, in the first half of summer term. Um, so the program runs for September through June and the uh, tuition fees can be found at that link there. So for the MA program cost, the MA has a bit of a different uh, um, funding model or fee model. Um, the MA students are charged tuition by their status in the program. So our students are considered full-time students. Um, and then uh, it's broken down by status in this link. Okay, and again, I'm gonna be sending this out. Uh, so funding information for the programs, and again, everything except for TESOL. Uh, so this program is fully online. Uh, students have flexible learning opportunities, um, and they are able to remain in their current employment. So unfortunately, there's no internal funding for the MPED programs. Uh, so there's alternative sources of funding. Some students go through uh, private financial institutions. Some go through provincial governments. And um, there's a good resource, the Government of Canada's Can Learn website. Um, it breaks down contact information, uh, financial assistance programs. That's going to be a great, great resource for you. 
And then we have our MA funding. Um, so there are internal, internal scholarships to the Faculty of Education. We've got two new ones here. Uh, we have our Students Living with Disabilities Scholarship, as well as specific scholarship for Indigenous students. Uh, those are two newer scholarships. They just launched last year, um, and they are available this year, and it's for incoming students. They are available. Um, and also in the Faculty of Education, we have different what we call academic research clusters and we short form everything. The short form for it is an ARC, an ARC, academic research cluster. Um, each ARC has their own scholarships available and they provide all of the details and I would recommend looking at that link and you will receive this slideshow. So then we have um, MA scholarships that are available. Our, our MA students are eligible to apply for the Ontario Graduate Scholarship or OGS. And then there's the Canadian Graduate Scholarship, which is the Tri-Agency Council. So that includes SHRC, CIHR, and then um, uh, and CIRC. I always forget one of them, no matter what it is. Uh, so SHRC, CIHR, and NCIRC are all part of the Canadian Graduate Scholarships for master's students. And more information can be found in the link when I send this out. And we've got another pop quiz. So which program is research intensive, the Master of Professional Education or the Master of Arts program? Perfect. Thanks, everybody. And then who has been working at Western longer? Nancy Inchley or myself? And it was actually Nancy. She's been here longer than I have. Thanks, everybody.